Happy Fragrant Friday, Fraghead. Hey everybody, this is Ben here at That Cologne Guy, coming at you with a revisited review. You heard that right. So if you saw the title and the description, you're thinking to yourself, Red Tobacco by Mencera. Hasn't he reviewed that before? I think this is deja vu all over again. It is. Because earlier this year, I reviewed Red Tobacco by Mencera, and I'd like to revisit that and touch on a couple of extra things that I didn't earlier, and then I want to change my rating uh, for this wonderful fragrance. You know, I've, I went over recently uh, practically all of my ratings uh, over the years in this channel, and I stand by all of them. The one exception to that is this one, and it was nagging at me. So you know what? I thought I would take this opportunity to correct the record. This is Red Tobacco by Mencera, of course, and in, in your upper right, I will put the card uh, of the previous episode. So if you would like to pause this episode now and check out the original review, you should do that, or you could just watch this and watch that one later. As much as I would love to tell you that I on purpose wore the exact same shirt I was wearing, what, five, six uh, months ago, uh, it is a total coincidence indeed. So there is no theme behind that, no master plan. It's just luck of the draw, my friends. So uh, I, I recently stumbled upon a, a second sample of this fragrance, and uh, I've mentioned before I really love the notes. Every, everything suggests that I would absolutely love this one. Um, and I gave it a 4.5, but I don't have half sprays in my system. So in my system, I have five sprays, and I put that number on me, right? But I, have, I don't give half sprays. So I usually, if not always, round up. But this time I, I rounded down to four and I deeply regret that. Uh, I went 4.5 and I gave it a four out of five sprays for red tobacco or in the original review. Now, in the, after wearing the second sample, though, I, ha, I have not radically changed because I, I liked it, obviously. I felt the eggnog was a little too heavy in that one. Uh, maybe it wasn't versatile enough, but I have, I have definitely changed my opinion. It really works well on my skin and with my body's chemistry. Um, it's clearly a five out of a five. I should have rounded up, and so I kick myself. Uh, and in this episode, I will officially bounce it up to a five out of five. Um, in fact, I have got a bottle of it on the way, uh, and I'm super excited about, about that. Uh, that'll be my first full bottle Mancera ever, and it's high time because I really, really like this house. So, so we're gonna bump it from a four to a five. Uh, in fact, quite I would even consider actually I, I love it so much. I have really gotten uh, you know addicted to it uh, that I I would even consider the coveted. That Cologne Guy extra bonus spray and give it a six out of five, except for one thing. It, it's and you, you guys can help me if you know more about Mancera, but it, what I've noticed about Mancera's is they seem to be, first of all, long, smell delicious and long lasting. So I love them. Um, but I have noticed that people have suggested that they are they 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 ride the coattails of other uh, successes, other companies' successes, and so they might not be the most original. And it could be just a coincidence. So again, you guys can help me out if you feel that they are the vanguard and the trailblazers, uh, and it's just a coincidence. You can let me know. But that's one that's one theme I've noticed with Mancera, and uh, and and this one it, this came up again. I did not mention it in the original review, and I feel like it's necessary to uh, uh, mention it here, that many people have suggested two fragrances that came out before this one that, that, that smell like this. So, so, of course, the other way around, right? Red tobacco smells like two previous ones that were highly successful. And so, again, if that is the case, because I can't speak to that, but a number of people have suggested both of them, then I also feel like the originality factor would keep this one from the coveted six out of five. That said, this is clearly a five out of five uh, spray uh, fragrance. And as I said, in, in fact, I won't be spraying even faux sprays because uh, I seared through the second one and I finally just got a bottle and it's on its way, as I mentioned earlier. So uh, I won't be doing any uh, spraying uh, in this uh, episode, but I wanted to uh, bump it to officially a five. So 
So here, here, here are the two fragrances that people have suggested. Red Tobacco is a 2017 release. In 2015, Carlisle by per- Parfums de Marly, which I have not reviewed, uh, and apparently is the you know the the front runner, the the trailblazer, the vanguard of this type of 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 smell, of 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 aroma, of of fragrance. Uh, and then right after it, so that was 2015, right? 2016, uh, Mystery Tobacco came out by Carolina Herrera, which a lot of people love. And boy, is that expensive. I mean, that is a niche. If you think, if you think Carolina Herrera is like, you know, designer and you're thinking it's probably a hundred bucks, I think it was like 350, 320. It's, it's very expensive. So it must be their luxury line. Uh, and it is called Mystery Tobacco, wink, wink by Carolina Herrera. And that was, um, that was 2016 so then the following year this one is red wink wink tobacco uh, by mancera so i can't speak to whether this is a clone of those two maybe you can and that would be helpful to me but i wanted to at least shed light on that and 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 to i felt like i should have brought that up in the original review actually because again um, if that is the case or even if it's suggested that that's the case, um, that the originality factor cannot be so high that I would be moved to give uh, the bonus, the elusive uh, bonus spray. So I wanted to mention those two. And then, of course, I've already said that um, I'm a, in the description, I will officially bump this to a five out of five. I'm excited because I officially got uh, my first uh, Mancera. Okay, so before I go, let me ask you just a couple of questions. Number one, of course, of course, I have to ask, what is your scent of the day? I always love knowing and then i would also love to know what is your most recent purchase you already know mine which is of course red tobacco and i can't wait and so let me know what your most recent uh, purchase is and and uh, if if you have gotten it already and worn it once let us know uh, what you think of it do you like it uh, and then finally if you can speak to uh either Carlisle by Perfume de Marly or Mystery Tobacco, which look, the, the bottle it look, looks beautiful, but it better be for that price, uh, Mystery Tobacco. If you have tried either one of those, uh, please let us know. And especially if you've tried uh, those and Red Tobacco, and you can let us know if Red Tobacco is a clone or if you think uh, it is uh, quite different from those two. That would be helpful to all of us. Five out of five sprays for Red Tobacco by Mancera. 2017 release, just just, just, just an absolute beast in in, in many ways. I mean, it is, it is it is brash. It lasts forever and a day. It projects a lot. The sillage is fantastic, uh, and and of course the the plethora of notes is just simply uh, divine. Uh, if you had if you look at my if you look at the notes there and you look at my top five. My my favorite notes episode, uh, you will see all, if not all, uh, almost all of them uh, in it. And so, you know, I felt originally it was maybe a little too holiday, right? Too uh, too geared towards the holidays and, and eggnog. Uh, but I have since slightly uh, changed my mind. What I've not changed my mind on is wishing you uh, a great week. I hope you are doing well. And happy Fragrant Friday to you. And let me know again the, some of the questions that I've asked. I always enjoy hearing from you. And always remember, my friends, fragrance marks the celebration of today. Take care, everybody. Hey everybody, welcome to the bonus feature. I actually wasn't going to do one this week, but guess what just arrived? Guess what just arrived? Hot off the press. So this is this is an unboxing. Just hot off the press, my friends. And I wanted to show you this. So here we go. All the packaging material. And here it is, my friends. This is a special moment. <clears throat> here it is, a four ounce, 120 milliliters of... With me in the reflection. Hot off the press, just delivered now from Lucky Scent. I'm so excited. My first full bottle. And I filmed this 
And I didn't know if it was coming today, but here it is. So this ended up being an unboxing as well. And let me tell you something. Um, if it works, there we go. Uh, I am super excited. Whoa, look at this baby. Look at this, Pro such a professional bag from Mancera. And then of course my very first full bottle uh, from this house. This uh, that's gonna end up being in my top five uh, favorite houses of all time. So I am super happy. And I did an unboxing once and had some problems with the cap. So let me make sure I don't do that again. It, it is, it screws on apparently. Yes, it does. It does screw on. And so let me put some on. So actually in the end, I will have five out of five sprays. I just didn't know it. Oh my God. All right, cool. Boom. Wait, wait, did nothing come out? There you go. Boom. Boom. Oh yeah. Boom. Come on. Boom. And five out of five sprays. What an unexpected surprise. This is, this screws on. I absolutely love that about this bottle. And so uh, the, just so you know, let's see. The batch code is 22D. 097E. There's the batch code. And what a lovely surprise this is. Here it is late at night. I had already filmed and um, I'd already set up the episode, but I will go back and change this and add this into the bonus feature. What a wonderful surprise indeed that I got this from uh, Lucky Scent. I love this bottle, I love this perfume. Five out of five sprays. Five out of five sprays is what it deserves for Red Tobacco by Mancera. Take care, everybody.